Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new One Punch Man The Strongest video and got another account review breakdown, go through whatever you want to call it, coming at you here. And this one I got to give a big shout out to Angel. Thank you. So let's dive right in. I'm going to make this a little bit more streamlined than before. So I went ahead and sorted by BP to take a look at what Angel's got in his account. And first off, his most important top character right now is Watchdog Man, and that is not a bad thing. Look at that baby clocking in that high. Let's look at the stats at this one. All right, yeah, you know, tack, you don't have to worry about HP almost. Damn, so close. Two, four million, very nice. I can only imagine this character's probably looking very sexy here in a second. Wake and inspiration. Four. Wow. That's awesome. That is amazing. But when you talk about the watchdog man, you need to look at the gears. So let's look. Police dog collar, class badge, looking nice. Battle. Nothing wrong with using battle with this character. Get that extra HP boost. HP crit rate. Very nice. Speed, HP, 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 speed. No problems there, and I'm betting this one's got HP. Oh, and the speed bonus, nice. Oh, well, and I'm not gonna waste my time looking at this because this character looks good. Next up is his Boros, 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 Boros. Another one that is at a total of four limit broken, but damn it, three awaken inspiration. Nice there. Character skills at 18. Oh, man, yeah. You know, I don't even know I'm wasting my time. Why are you even having me look at this again? Damn account. Things are looking good. Primal, very good choice there. With attack defense, attack speed, attack damage rate, attack crit damage. First off, that crit damage, unless you can get your crit up, I'm guessing it's not going to be high enough. 32%. That crit damage is an absolute waste. Um, let's see what you got here real quickly for primal here. Let's do a filter with attack at a minimum. And let's see if we got any crit rates. And that is on your G4. Yeah, it matters who you use more, but man, that's what you'd really want to get that crit rate up on this character. But because attack and defense is, mm, 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 you know, you guys know, you know. But I also know how hard primals are to get. So let's take that filter again. Just look at attack and see if there's anything else. Attack, attack, attack. All right. Lots of attack. Yeah, you could kill that crit damage easily and go with an attack, attack. There you go. That's what I would do if you can't get your crit up. Then you got attack, hit, attack, speed, attack, hit, attack, attack. I was looking to see if you had anything else. Uh, yep, that's what I would do um, if it was me. Uh, because if you can't get that crit damage up, then switch. I mean, crit crit rate up and just take off that crit damage you can focus them better buff gears let me guess they're all gonna be attack 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 yeah yeah another character that's looking good get the garu here five stars yeah all right let's not waste our time with you and know, let me guess your g4 is looking good yep your tank top man let's go ahead and take a look tank top master is still a solid character to be using um, I, I just think he's great. Let's see, got HP, got HP, got HP, the gear. Ooh, okay, yeah. That one hurts. Let's take a look at what you have for battle. Do you have anything better left for battle? Filter, HP, HP attack, HP resistance, HP attack. That's three of the four. You're just missing that top one. I would really just yeah you got an HP HP I why that monk's in there I have no clue get that out of there I know what you're trying to do you're trying to extra buff his HP but you're gonna get 10% off of this and if we go back and look here you got an HP resist you don't, let's see if you have any HP HPs now HP attack, yeah. I'm guessing you figured you get more bang for your buck with that one, but you just gotta remember you're 
you're losing 10%. So yeah, you're gaining that 14% down there, but technically you put the other one on, you're gaining 10% right away. So you may want to play with that one a little bit. But looking good there. Oh my, you know. Maxed out. Gotta love that. Really might have to get into that one. Let's see. But no, characters is the most part looking good. You know, I, I wouldn't really say anything. I mean, you're focusing. I mean, Watchdog Man is a great to be your featured character. Let's take a look though and how your account's set up. So let's go through and take a look. Are you working on your figurines? Well, it looks like you got a lot of stuff you could update here. And yeah, you got one of those. Yeah, make sure you're always updating them. But everybody's looking pretty good there. I always look at figurines, training, all things. But yeah, you're, you're looking pretty good. I wonder if you've got anything that you could target up. Let's see what he's looking at right now. Yeah, you're still short on that's why. Okay. All right, we're gonna pop into the lab next. The figurines look just fine. And level seven, level six, level six, level five, four, nine. Let's look at your infrastructure here. Okay. And okay. And okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I, I mean, it looks like you're plugging away on them, so there is nothing bad there. Um, I can't say anything besides just always make sure you're focusing on your main cores that you want to use, and apparently your zombie man's at level nine, so you know you're using that. I know like everybody else, you're having a tough time with the Giro Giro core getting that stuff. Just really focus on that so you can get that character up. Because when you get that character up to level four, you get that, I believe it's ultimate damage boost. It's awesome, so highly recommend working on that one. Training, yeah, look at that. Look at that, 100%, 100%. Yeah, anybody that's been playing this game since the start should be there, and we all know that the skill training and battle training are trash, so, you know, what you get, the amount of time it will take you, it is not worth it. So, let's go ahead and look at somewhere. All right, we're gonna take a look at Training Center here. Up, uh, doing solid, man. 40, 38, 35, 35. Keep up that good work, keep pushing it. Let's see where your member training is. You've got no really low characters. You know, of course, obvious speaking, your G4 and your Child Emperor should be your next to the level up. Because once you get those ones up again, you should get a nice push on your average level. And then once you get those two up, then you can either focus on your mid ranges or um, one of your higher ones like Watchdog Man. But I would recommend Child Emperor G4 and then whoever's your next lowest and just keep working up so your average is always going up. No problem there. Oh, nice level 80, 84, 80. Again, because resources become an issue with this, I mentioned this in my other video, I recommend just going 80, 80, 80, 81, 81, 81. Reason for that is you only really go up each five in totality like you do when you're doing your skills. Just keep that in mind. It will help, plus the resources cost more each level, so it's gonna become more and more difficult for you. I understand why people are doing this, but it it's gonna get tougher and tougher, so when you equal them out, you're gonna be able to push evenly, faster, and all across the board, it will be more efficient for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at your type training. Seven, six, six, seven, yeah. And again, this is another thing where unless you wanna hyper-focus on one type, you go just tier each one up because the resources just cost more and more and more and more. Now again, if you're hyper-focused on Esper, for some reason your team's always mainly Espers, then push them ahead maybe one or two higher, but that is it, no more, because it just gets too expensive and you're gonna fall back to these other ones anyway, so it's just a big waste of time. Let's look at that arena team. Nope, not shabby at all. Nope, nope, and nope. Probably, I don't know. That's interesting. Hmm. I personally would have that monster I chose behind the watchdog man to keep that character alive. 
put the, um, Garu at the top because most likely Sky King's gonna die sooner than anything else. Put Tank Top Master in the middle. That's what I would do personally. You could even go as far as putting Tank Top Man to the front and pulling Giro Giro to the back just to maybe get some more life out of Giro Giro because you know my guess is your Garo is probably your highest attacker so or Watchdog Man either way they're going to do decent basic attacks but outside of that though no, looking good yeah what, I, what can I say the, the account looks solid I mean you know just uh, some of the things I nitpicked earlier especially about the gear I think it was on Tank Top Master you know getting that cleared up always pay attention if you don't have high enough crit and i when i say high enough crit if you're not a minimum of over 50 percent stay away from crit damage especially if you can find yourself something that will help the character because you're just you know for all intents and purposes um wasting a space on there everything else i mentioned though the whole account looks good solid good work i mean definitely working ahead you got good character development here you know you got all my faves in here with king your your monster i chose i know is an absolute pain to build hopefully you can get that character up higher if you want to plan on using it more and more but in the whole you've got a solid base here you just got to keep pushing through your watchdog man it looks like is your baby but you got a solid garu you could definitely get that koketsu a little higher but outside of, you know, and then you'd have a solid tandem of three and and then you've got, you know, some solid DPS in that back point with um, Boros as well as G4 because they're just terrors on the field sometimes. Alrighty, with that as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. And again, big thank you to Angel. Have a great day.